Recently on the forum I've been talking about the 32 channel PWM that I have built into Tacon and also how uh, the speed's been increased from a 5 kilohertz uh, output to a 7.6 kilohertz output. Now the thing is it's 32 channels uh, basically means that we can use any pin on the prop and as many pins as we like. What we're going to do today just over here we have a board is a prop board and what we're going to do is we have the logic analyzer hooked up to it at the moment there's a logic analyzer 18 channels hooked up and what we're going to do is we're displaying this up here in free run mode and at the moment that's blank so over across on the PC well back across to the terminal and the is a terminal over here. We'll say hello to Tachyon. We'll do a control C. Get rid of that light. And we can probably see Tachyon saying hello to us. Alright. Now, what we need to do, I'll just move that over a little bit. That's a bit better. Now, what we're going to do is use the example that we have up here of how to initialize the PWM, how to use it. So first off what we do is we create a table over here and assign 1024 bytes to it after which uh, we set a frequency for it. I'll just set it to 7000 at the moment and we'll make it 7600 I guess. Let's do that anyway, 7600. After which we then assign the pins. I have that uh, mask up in here, 16 pins there and another two that I have available over here and then that will start it running using that table over here after which we will then run uh, all the PWMs from 0 to 31 on 25 percent and change a couple of the other settings so what I'm going to do is just paste all of this in including the extra bit of code we have down the bottom there so we'll grab that we'll go across here to the screen and we'll paste that in now what should be happening is something's happening over here 18 channels and look they all look the same except for a couple of channels there okay so what we're going to do we can see one channel down here and that's only on a very small percentage okay so what we're going to do is uh, have a look at these couple of words here. We've got one called load PWM. All that's going to do is load in from memory some values for each channel and we've got another one called random. We might even just try the random one. So I'll type that in random PWM and have a look at the screen before I press enter. Looking at the screen, press the enter key. There it is. Repeat that again. Control X will repeat the last. And we randomize the outputs. Can we see what's happening? So that's an instant change on all channels. No problems at all. It's changing nice and easy. Looking at the top trace up here, I'm going to change that to 0%. We can do 0 to 100% here, so I'm going to go 0. On, on zero here, let's see what we're doing here, zero on channel zero and I have a shortcut in here called PW, save me having to type out the whole thing and over here channel zero will be changed, and in fact what's happening is it's lost synchronization because I have the analyzer synchronized on zero so I'm going to change that back to a one one zero PW now we have a tiny pulse there that's all we really need but as you noticed it did go to zero percent um, I'm going to change the next channel to 256 so 256 one PW that's 100 percent and there it is 100% all the way through no problem whatsoever now zooming out a little bit more 
might even do another little trick. What I'm going to do is grab the table called PWM or PWMs. Have a look at the screen now. Get the table and move the table over itself. So what will end up happening is that we will end up stretching part of the waveform or repeating the first part of the waveform that's over here. So we'll end up moving it across but working from the end over so the effect we'll get, we'll just type this in here, PWMs, duplicate that, oh let's have a look at the stack, there it is, the address of the table, we're going to add 128 as an offset and there it is and then we're going to tell that to move from there to there for we'll put this in hex 380 the difference uh, and and C move in the reverse direction okay so we're going to have a look at that and see what happens up here see how it repeated and stretched everything over here and also now uh, my channel 0 is triggering on a few different settings so I'm just going to reset channel 0 to a 1, 1, 0, PW. Quite nice and stable again. But notice the other channels now have other waveforms on them as well. Now, to be completely random, what we're going to do is really use that table, just copy part of memory, for, say from ROM, into that same table. So I'm going to go for here, I'm going to say FC00 to PWMs. For 1024 C move and this is going to have anything in it there it goes that's crazy so I'll better trigger on channel 0 again 10 PW there we go and that's what we end up with that's crazy isn't it well if we hook up a few resistors in an R2R ladder to some of these outputs we can generate analog waveforms as well so I'll show you a few other tricks next time where we can multiply uh, the PWM frequency and phase shifted etc.